My name is Victoria German and this is my epiphany. I have been a believer for just about all my life, but I've never really owned my faith and my faith hadn't really been tested before the spring of 2015. I've had lots of trouble sleeping before for about a month at a time. The lack of sleep caused me to be exhausted and I would stress about everything. During these periods it was hard to enjoy anything. But then after a month or so, life would be back to normal, and everything seemed great again. Through the, those episodes, I would rely mostly on my family to help me, which is good, but ultimately God wants me to trust Him, because He's perfect, while my family isn't. Also, because of the lack of sleep, I would experience lots of headaches all the time, which made it really hard to think straight and to trust in God. It was a gradual process, but from February to June 2015, I experienced a really deep depression. My parents wanted me to try to go to more of a nutritional doctor rather than a regular one um, before I would try any medication. But those treatments um, that I did when I went to a nutritional doctor, like they would they would help me for a few hours, but like then it would just I would go back to feeling terrible. I had gone to a Christian therapist a few times, but therapists can only help so much. Um, I had, me and my family were praying to God a lot that He would show us a way to um, to get through the depression, but it was. It was hard to trust him. But during the time that I was going through depression, my head would go a lot faster than I could process it, and mentally I couldn't really trust God. It was like a roller coaster of emotion, emotions. One week I would be doing great, and the next week I would feel like I was going through hell. It got so bad I would toss and turn all night in my bed, and I felt like I was going absolutely crazy. A few days later, I was labeled with bipolar depression and severe anxiety. I then went to my second regular therapist appointment and I cannot truthfully tell my therapist that I wouldn't harm myself because of what I was going through. Later that day, my mom brought me to the third floor. I still remember when we went up there. She brought me into that room and there was a nurse there and we said goodbye. Um, we were both crying uncontrollably, and when she walked away, it felt like I had nothing left. The first night on the third floor was the loneliest of my life. Again, I tossed and turned until I cried out to God many times trying to trust Him, and then He started giving me peace. As I was on the third floor, the doctor started me on a new medication along with my old one and a temporary one that would help me sleep at night. Those medications, they caused me to be drowsy like as I was going through um, the process of it and I really hated how I, I couldn't focus still, but my family came and visited me throughout it and they started, and they were encouraging me and I started appreciating the time that I got to spend with them. At the f about the fourth day I was there, something started to happen. I'm sure the medicine helped some, but something changed in me. I actually felt that I could do something about the chains I had been carrying for so long. It must have been God helping me out of that hole that I fell into and I had been trying to get out of so long but I just couldn't by myself. I was finally ready to let go of my fears and to trust God because they were my reality for so long but finally letting go I experienced such a peace. I felt free to be myself and to enjoy things again and it's all thanks to my Father in Heaven. From that day forward things got better and better every day. A month and a half after my hospitalization I was even serving people in Chicago with a group from Epiphany Station. 
and I was able to work on school again, which was such a big deal then because I couldn't focus on anything barely, let alone my school. There's still a few days when I feel off and it's hard to enjoy anything. But now I know that God didn't give up on me when I was going through the hardest time that I could have ever imagined. And God has given me such a confidence in Him and such a peace. And on those days that I can't handle everything, I just, I sing to Him and praise Him. And as I'm praising Him, He gives me such a peace and like my mood will change and I just love that. To me, God is my healer when no one could heal me. My savior when no one could save me. And he loved me when I was absolutely hard to love. And the chances of the doctors finding the right medication on the very first try was pretty much impossible, but God can do the impossible. I want everyone to know that I am a child of the one true king, even though I'm not perfect. Because of his love and grace, he has changed me. And I want everyone to know that even if you do give up on God, he will never stop loving you or give up on you. He is strong and he can handle all of our, all of our problems. And when we let go of our doubts and fears and let him work, we will find freedom when we trust in him and he will never, ever let you down. My name is Victoria German, and this is my epiphany.